you all believe Berber would be a perfect fit director of football? Probably not, no. I don't I don't get what do people think a director of football does? I think people don't know what a director of football does. A director of football is a little bit of a scout, a little bit of a, an agent, a little bit of a manager, a little bit of a coach. There's a little bit of an, a lot of jobs that roll into one and they have to be able to have the, the trust of the board and the manager at the same time. They have to know what the philosophy of a club is. They have to, they have to plan for the succession of the guy that they're working with in terms of the manager and the players that they're signing. I'm not necessarily sure that an ex-player is the perfect fit for that role. When you look at some of the ones, you know, you look at the likes of uh, Monchi and you look at Mitchell and you look at some of the people that are renowned as fantastic directors of football around the world, uh, the geezer Bajiristan, I think it is, at City, Tixi, you know, uh, well, he played. But, like, generally, they haven't played to any sort of level. I think Paul Mitchell played for Altrincham or Shrewsbury. Something like that. Like, I think that's where they played. You know, these aren't players that have have absolutely lit the world up as footballers. Now, there is a side where you go, well, a director of football probably should be someone that's got maybe a little bit of a clout. Well, I get that. I can understand that sort of need for it. 